with Jay Everman. In this video, we will share a topic about line coding techniques in digital communication. But first, let us define what is line coding. It says here that the line coding is defined as the process of converting binary data to a digital signal. Binary is a base 2 system since it only uses 2 digits, 0, and 1, while binary data is considered as the native data or language of a computer. And here's an example of a 7-bit binary data given 0101010. Digital signals only have two states, the on and off and it can be represented in binary value 0 and 1. And here's the final result of the digital signal given by 7-bit binary data 0101010. R, Z, or return to 0. If the pulse occupies half of bit duration of the time Interval. N, R, Z, or not return to zero. Within the time interval, the pulse will not return to zero. And lastly, the Manchester pulse. At half bit duration, there is a transition from high to low or low to high. The basic pulse shaping techniques is represented by bits and amplitude. In here, the unipolar is the first type of line coding techniques. In unipolar, it is also known as on-off keying, wherein the binary zero is represented by zero amplitude, which means that the pulse is absent, and the binary one is represented by positive amplitude which means that the pulse is present. And the second type of line coding techniques is polar. And in polar, the binary 1 and 0 is represented by equal positive and negative amplitude. And now, let's move on to the third type of line coding technique which is the bipolar. The bipolar technique uses three amplitude to represent two binary data. One of the binary in the bipolar are represented in alternating positive and negative amplitude and the other binary is in zero amplitude. In bipolar, there are two terms that we should know. The first one is the alternate mark inversion or AMI. The AMI is when the binary zero is represented by zero amplitude and the binary one is represented by alternating positive and negative amplitude. The second term is the pseudo ternary. The pseudo ternary is the opposite of AMI. The pseudo ternary is when the binary 1 is encoded as zero amplitude and the binary 0 is encoded as alternating positive and negative amplitude. For example, encode the line coding of 8-bit binary 1110101 using AMI and pseudo ternary. Here, in the AMI, the binary 1 lies alternately in positive and negative amplitude, while the binary 0 lies in zero amplitude, and in pseudo ternary, the binary that alternately lies in positive and negative amplitude was binary. Let's look at an example for the topic. Using the unipolar return to zero technique, trace the line coding of an 8-bit binary data 11100010. By understanding the given data, it allows us to consider 
the technique that we will be using as well as the given that we will have to deal with. We can now form the unipolar return to zero pulse shaping technique of the given binary data. The term unipolar refers to the fact that the amplitude of 1 is in positive V and the amplitude of 0 is in 0. And the term return to zero occurs when the pulse consumes half of the bit duration. On tracing the line coding, for the data 1, the pulse will be at positive V. And after half bit duration, it will return to zero. Next, for 1, the pulse will be at positive V and it will return to zero. Again, for 1, the pulse will be at positive V and it will return to zero. For 0, the pulse will be at 0 and it will return to 0. Next, for 0, the pulse will be at 0 and it will return to 0. For 0 again, the pulse will be at 0 and it will return to 0. Next, for 1, the pulse will be at positive V and it will return to 0. Lastly, for 0, the pulse will be at 0 and it will return to 0. So. This is the result of converting binary data to a digital signal. So, we'll move on for the next example of the topic. Using the unipolar non-return to zero technique, trace the line coding of the binary data 10110010. Because of the term unipolar, it is quite similar to the previous example, but it will not return to zero and thus will not consume half of the bit duration. For one, the pulse will be at positive V and for zero, the pulse will be at zero. For one, the pulse will be at positive V. Again, for one, the pulse will be at positive V. Next, for zero, the pulse will be at zero. Again, for zero, the pulse will be at zero. Next, for 1, the pulse will be at positive V. Lastly, for 0, the pulse will be at 0. As you can see, this is the digital signal we get. That's it. We hope you learned a lot of lessons in this video. Thanks for watching.